Hi Aries, welcome or welcome back to the community. Thank you for tuning in. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for July 2024. So let's hop right into your reading here, Aries, and see what is coming up for you. What is July 2024 bringing to Aries? All right, we have the Ace of Swords coming out. We have the Tower reversed. Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. Five of Cups. And we have the Four of Pentacles reversed. And we're going to clarify each of these cards for you here as well, Aries. Okay, so let's tap into the energies that I'm feeling um, from this spread here. There may be there may be a message or something or a, a challenge or something that may come up for you during this time as I'm looking at the Ace of Swords and the Tower card here. So there may be something that may come up that feels like it could be a repressed memory. It could be emotions that you have been repressing just in general. So it feels like there's an opportunity for that to come to light and for you to get some clarity on it, on that so that you can move um, move forward in this and I feel like there's after receiving whatever this is this download or whatever this may be for you I feel like it sort of catapults you uh, into this new direction where you're um, in this place of willing to explore different aspects of yourself and you're feeling a little bit more freer you're feeling a little bit more energetic as well um, I, I do feel like this is um, something it's something that you know that you need to work on or work through here Aries is what I'm getting from this um, and, and I feel like some of you may have been in a place where you may have felt a regret or disappointment. Or you have been in this place where you felt despair have come up or you have been going through it in certain relationships, one relationship, multiple relationships that could show up in your friendships and your families, however that looks for you, even in work as well. But I definitely feel like there's a lot of things that you've sort of been sweeping under or sort of holding on to repressing. And I feel like July is the month for you to really open up to that as we've stepped into um, the so the uh, summer solstice on uh, June 21st, I believe, was the date. Um, so it, it definitely feels like there's a shift that is coming from for you, and it feels like a learning lesson. It may feel uncomfortable for some of you, but I definitely feel like it's going to move you forward and also give you this sense of um, stability because some of you may have been feeling unstable, or you may still be in the position of feeling unstable. Some of you may be in a position of um, there may be some sort of loss that could be coming up for you. That could be in your within your finances. That could be a home for some of you. It feels, it feels a little bit depressing, but I don't feel like this is a new feeling. I feel like it is more of a repressed emotion. So something that you may have just been sweeping under the rug to sort of get by and just say like I'm good, but you're really not good. And it's you know again, I feel like it's a. It's a memory or thought or emotion that's going to come to the surface during this time. I'm also hearing that some of you could use some healing um, sessions or something. You could do some sort of healing, whether that is you seeing a facilitator to do some sort of body work or energetic work. You could also just be working through this on your own, maybe even seeking counsel, going to see a spiritual advisor. But I do feel like this is an opportunity during the month of June to allow yourself to heal. So whatever it is that you have been repressing, allow it to come to the surface and work through it so that you can move past it. Okay, so that's what I'm feeling from the spread. So let's hop into each card here. We have the Ace of Swords coming in as in your overall energy position. So this is, again, like I said, about a new, a new challenge for some of you. So again, something is uh, have been has been lingering and for some of you this feels this may be new but I do feel like it you may be handling it in a new way because I do feel like it is residual energy from whatever has been um, going on with you over the over the months and over the years for some of you as well but I do feel like you sort of reach you sort of conquer uh, new heights and whatever this is that you have been holding on to where you feel like I feel victorious and I love this energy because we talk about the ace of swords and it is an energy of communication download so it makes me feel like some of you may be communicating more whether that you're in the physical world communicating 
to a spiritual, I'm even here, a psychic. So some of you may be even seeing a psychic as well. But a spiritual advisor, a counselor, or communicating with um, the universe, right? Com communicating with your divine beings, your angels, your guides, ancestors as well, Kashic record keepers. Uh, you could be communicating um, just in a different way than you were before, okay? So that energy is coming up, but I do feel a new sense of courage that could be coming up, power that is coming up for you as well, that you're sort of taking a stance and taking the lead on your life, okay? We, some of you have sort of just fell into this place of letting things just happen to you. It's almost you've taken a, you, you're taking a... Um, a level of control where you're sort of stepping into your power and you're making, you know, you're you're making a change in your life. So there is an opportunity for some prosperity and success to come for you as well and deep intellect, so deep connection, mental clarity, mental agility for some of you. But because it's the ace of swords, I love this energy. It is an it's saying that this is a beginning to something. Okay? Beginning to something, beginning of you stepping into your power in some sort of way. And I'm hearing getting out of your own way. So some of you have been in your own way uh, in, most recently, okay? And this could have been uh, overall in general, okay? We're gonna, I'm going to get through these and then clarify each of these. We have the tower in reverse that is coming in your obstacle challenge position here. So this this is why I'm feeling like there's been some repressed emotions that become that has come up where some of you have been in situations where you may have been evicted, you've lost a home, lost a home, lost a job, you've lost a loved one, and that loved one could have been to death, it could have been to just a breakup. There's some sort of heaviness or um, that I'm feeling that some of you are going to be facing during this time because it is, like I said, that repressed emotion that is coming to the surface so that you can sift through it, heal from it, or let it go and move on from whatever this is. This is an opportunity for you to rebuild and prevail, but also to wake up. And some of you may be a bit resistant to uh, this energy because it feels uncomfortable and it feels new. It feels out of the ordinary, the, out, the ordinary for you because this is um, this is like new communication downloads that are coming for you that you've never really uh, experienced this level of um, I don't want to, I feel like I wanted to say atrocity and I hope it's not an atrocity for some of you but there's just a, le a different level of communication and whatever this repressed emotion has been you're going to be handling it in a different way and some of you are going to be falling back into the level of that comfort zone that uh, it feels uncomfortable, but you're familiar with how to handle it. And for some of you, you're for that familiarity with it, you have just swept it under the rug. But you're going to be working through that this time. And you hear the screams in the back, okay? Some of you may even need to scream to sort of let out your emotions, to let out some of that energy that has just been lying dormant within your body. There needs to be some sort of shakeup, okay? So some of you may be experiencing some sort of shakeup here with the tower card that is coming up for you. So not to fear that, but this is a opportunity for you to pre to prevail prevail and rebuild, okay? So in your, um, where you're headed during this month is the page of wands here, Aries. So this is about spirituality and gaining momentum and energy. Like I've mentioned before, some of you may um, be traveling. So you're heading somewhere during the month of July, enjoying your summer if you're in the Southern Hemisphere. But I definitely feel like there is some news that is coming in. This could be good, bad, or indifferent. Not sure how it's going to show up for you. But I do feel like it gives you a boost of energy to move past something. Okay, The Page of Wands is about action and creativity. And so I do feel like you're going to be growing during this month, creating a new vision for yourself. And like I said, gaining more energy and enthusiasm about life. And... Um, and building something. So some of you may be thinking of a new business or maybe your business begins to take off during the month of July. Okay, so if you have been, if there has been some sort of good feeling that has been lingering for you, Spirit is saying yes. Okay, move forward with that. What's happening in um, your near future here is the Knight of Wands. Okay, <clears throat> Knight of Wands here in the near future. So I definitely feel like this is your energy. It is definitely your energy. Also could be, um, who else is this? This could be even Scorpio energy as well. But 
this is I feel like it's double confirmation here with the page of wands and the knight of wands and the fact that we're moving from the page to the knight that is definitely um, a natural progression I definitely feel like enthusiasm and energy coming from you during this time so I do feel a level of strength here Aries is what I'm is what I'm really getting from you is that whatever has been holding you back you gain a level of strength to move past it although it feels uncomfortable it feels challenging it feels like an obstacle for some of you but this is your opportunity to move past whatever this is okay so take swift action on whatever, whatever this may be. There is some sort of change that's coming up and it's the inevitable. So don't try to fight whatever this change is. So that's what's really happening in the near future. Your advice is the Five of Cups. Again, like I said, some of you have, have experienced some sort of loss. I'm hearing to not let, to not dwell on that. Don't let that linger. Okay, so this has something to do with someone you love or something that you love that you are... Um, Spirit is asking you to just mourn whatever that is, okay? Mourn whatever that loss may be. This is the time to just sort of let it go. And which is very interesting because being in your energy and before I was totally fine and then just sort of, I went into meditation and then sort of delve into your energy here, Aries, and I was feeling very weepy, like I wanted to grieve, like grieve something, not sure what that was, and I was asking myself, is it me, or what's, you know, what's going on, obviously we have, we all have our moments, and I'm also an Aries moon, so this is how I feel, but I definitely feel that this is an opportunity to mourn, grieve, whatever has been heavy on your heart, whatever you have been focused on, where you feel like you've been disappointed, there's, um, you've been in despair, your heart is, like I said, been he been he has been heavy. Spirit is asking you to cherish the present moment. Okay, so this is, although it's a five, five is about change and conflict as well, but it is also about a new cycle. Okay, so whatever level of instability you have been feeling, there is a change that is coming with that. So you've been feeling in this place where you've been feeling uncertain, uh, uncertain about the shifts and the challenges that have been that has been um, transpiring in your life. But this is a time for you to make an adjustment. Your final outcome is the four of pentacles here reversed. All right, so um, this this feels like that unstable energy that I was talking about for some, and some of you again. There may be a little loss that comes up, but I feel like some of you are letting go of what you've been holding on to, and it may even feel like a loss for some of you. And um, Spirit is reminding me of a certain instance that happened in my life years ago. I had um, an abdominal myomectomy, which, is me, which means um, removing uterine fibroids. And I was so weepy after that procedure. I felt like I had lost a child, although I wasn't carrying a child. I was carrying these tumors in my uterus that became a part of me. And it felt like I was going home and leaving the, and leaving the babies on the table. Like I literally felt like I was going through postpartum um, after, having a, uh, after having that abdominal surgery. So it's like, that's what it sort of reminds, this energy reminds me of, of like, there's something that you've been holding on to for a while and finally you let it go and it feels uncomfortable. You feel a level of sadness or frustration or challenge, whatever emotion that comes up for you, but it definitely feels like it's something that needs to be let go of. And for some of you, this has something to do with your ancestral lineage. It has something to do with your, uh, of what past life, your past lives, your childhood, things that you've gone through in your adulthood as well. But there is an opportunity for you to take little pieces of what you learned during this time of um, oppression, so to speak, and apply that to your journey moving forward. Okay, so this is an opportunity for you to be charitable in a way and to share your story, whatever that means to you. Okay, that's the energy that I'm feeling for that, but we'll clarify that um, as well. Okay, so let's see, um, let's let's get some messages around this Ace of Swords as your overall energy. Let's get into that.
All right, so we have the Knight of Cups, and we also have the Four of Swords that is coming up for you, clarifying the Ace of Swords and your overall energy. So there could be a new person coming into your space. This could be a new opportunity as well, a new opportunity to love, a job opportunity. It could show up um, how in different ways for some of you, but uh, this could definitely be some sort of new relationship or you overcoming an obstacle from a previous relationship that you've been in. Um, I'm hearing a word sensible. So maybe you're just, I, I feel like some of you are, are using all of your senses here, Aries. And I love to feel you in that position, Aries, because you are a fire sign and sometimes your energy can be a bit compulsive at times. You can be erratic there. You know, you can just be intense at some certain times, but I feel like you're feeling, and that's a beautiful thing because feeling is going to allow you to move past your um, emotion. Okay, so you're feeling, you have emotions, things are changing, and you're really letting yourself just be in that moment instead of trying to control uh, what you think needs to be controlled. Okay, but I definitely feel there is going to be a time out for some of you when it comes to other people. So I don't know if someone is coming into your life and you're removing yourself from other people. Could this be a new relationship for some of you and you're distancing yourself from other relationships? But I definitely feel like <laughs> I'm feeling like spirit is saying a recovery, like a recovery time from some of you. And maybe it's because some of you could be taking a break from dating, could be taking a break from family and friends. And really delving into this energy of healing because that is definitely on the horizon for you. Some of you may e even be getting sick this month. That could be like a cold or flu. I don't want to put anything on anybody, but this is just let this four of swords is just reminding us to rest. Rest and relaxation is important and you need to sort of recover, like rejuvenate, recuperate during this time. So it is for some of you, this is some of you may have realizations about your relationship or certain relationships that you may need to take a break from. So that this can go in, in many different ways. That's the energy that I'm feeling from this as I'm looking at the Ace of Swords and this clarifying this. You may have an aha moment for some of you that you need to sort of take a step back from some from someone or something. And some of you may be moving towards something and, and isolating yourself from other people. Okay, so that can go in different ways. But whatever this is here, Aries, I do feel like there is some sort of change that is coming from you. And maybe with this Knight of Cups as well, this is saying that you're going to be focusing more on yourself, loving you more, okay? Because July feels like a month of you working through the ish, okay? And it may feel uncomfortable and challenging, as I said, for some of you. But I do feel like there's a burst of energy where you're investing into yourself a little bit more. That tower is here, as we said earlier, and the challenging and uh, your challenge in your obstacle position. So let's pull some uh, clarifiers around this. Let's see why is the tower here for Aries? We have the Knight of Wands. We also have the King of Swords. Okay. Some of you have been frustrated, have been going through the ringer, have been fighting that nine of wands, your energy here. Um, definitely have been a challenge for some of you where you're feeling like you always have, like some of you feel like you have been going through a lot of conflict. You're still going through the conflict. You have, a, you're ha you have to defend yourself. You're protecting yourself. You're putting up a wall. And some of you are just exhausted of just going through the motions of life, okay? So you're, I feel like some of you may be in this place of waiting for something. And it may be it's, you feel like there is a change that is on the horizon and you're just sort of waiting for the opportunity to make a move, to take action on it, whatever that is. It may feel challenging for some of you, as I've said before. But I feel like you're going to have all the tools that you need to move through whatever this discomfort or oppression that some of you are feeling. Okay, some of you may be having some issues going on with a male energy, a masculine energy. This could show up as a father, a grandfather, an uncle. This could even be um, a judge as well where there's, you're challenged in some sort of way and it just feels like an ongoing battle. But because the Nine of Wands is here, that lets me know that there is going to be a completion of something, but it definitely feels like you have to go through it in order to complete it. 
obviously, right? We have to sort of move, maneuver through through this and also feel. Feeling for you this month, Aries, is very important. And again, that's not, not you know, being aware of making impulsive decisions about what your next step is. But this is definitely letting me know that let yourself feel whatever it is that you're feeling. Be gentle with yourself and so that you can heal and let that go and move past that so that you can get on your horse like this Knight of Wands here and ride the waves, whatever that is. Okay, and some of you, I'm hearing some of you may be moving as well. So I don't know if the move has something to do with an eviction or some of you are in a position where you have experiencing some financial loss where you can't afford to live where you are. There could be different scenarios uh, going on here, but definitely let yourself be open and be gentle with yourself. The Page of Wands is here in your position of where you're headed. We have the King of Cups and then the Hierophant clarifying that Page of Wands here. All right, so I'm getting Pisces, Scorpio energy here, Hierophant, Taurus. So I, I like this energy because what I'm feeling is a sense of calm that is coming over me. Despite what you're going through, what may be a challenge, what may feel uncomfortable, remember I said in the beginning that you guys are feeling this level of newness that's coming in and how you handle things and how you show up. So I definitely feel with the King of Cups here, it feels like an energy of calm, like you're keeping your emotions in check and not just popping off, okay? And that's not to say all of you pop off, but this is just, it feels like a new energy that really is, that you're radiating here. It's compassionate for others and compassionate for selves, for yourself. And when I think of compassion for you, Aries, I'm thinking that you're not taking things personally like maybe you have before. It just feels like a new energy. Again, some of you could be going through some sort of legal thing here because the Hierophant is here. And I just said that with the King of Swords here, right? The King of Swords and the Hierophant. Look how they're just both uh, very similar. This could be you speaking your truths and then there is some sort of mediation that is happening. So whatever this is, I feel like you're keeping your cool through whatever this situation may be for you here. So I feel like that's where you're headed. It's just a level of understanding yourself and your emotions, it feels like. It almost feels like things are coming together. Um, I'm hearing some of you have been... Some of you have also been in relationships where um, there has been a level of abuse to an extent where you felt like that was just the norm or this was the best that you can do. And now you're moving past that, which is why we had that Knight of Cups. There could be new love coming into your life, Aries, or you're loving yourself more and moving on from something or for, from someone. Okay, So some of you may even think to, like I said earlier, seek some sort of mediator or facilitator to help you move through something because it definitely feels like this is a level of spiritual upgrade that some of you may be experiencing however that's going to look for you if you're you know you're not a spiritual person that is 100 percent okay but at the end of the day you're human so there's going to be change and changes that happen so i definitely feel a shift that is coming up for you here okay and then the um the Knight of Wands here, let's clarify this energy. We have the High Priestess reversed. Oh, we just pulled the Hierophant. Interesting. And then the Queen of Wands. We're getting a lot of Queen King energy here for you. Um, I definitely feel like there is some sort of transition that is happening for you on a really deep, visceral level. Like this is definitely a spiritual, like I said, an upgrade that you are um, experiencing in your life. Some of you are very aware of what this is and some of you are sort of sifting through the emotions of this. All right. So there may be some secrets that may be revealed that in your very near future about something, someone or even things that you have been holding on to. Make sure that you're not in this place of denial or ignoring the signs or the intuition, the intuitive nudges that you're getting during this time. Um, because I do feel like you really want to move past this because you're focused on, uh, you're in this energy of optimism. And I love this energy for you, okay? Um, you're really building confidence within yourself, really tuning into what it is that you need to thrive in a relationship or just in general, your relationships in general. 
Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces here. Could even be um, in this. You're, I feel like you're just in this position of really trying to balance. So some of you may have been in this position of putting too much into something or someone else and not enough into yourself. So I, I feel like there's a realization that is coming for you, level of confidence and esteem that you're building. You're taking action on things. You're getting creative. Um, you're, like I say, you're growing, you're creating a vision. There's a lot of change that is happening. Like I said, it, it feels like for some of you, this is going to show up in your career. That could be your business or in your job. Like I feel like there's just new things that are coming in. And it's, and it's again, whatever this is here, Aries, it is 100% a level up regardless of how uncomfortable it may feel for some of you. But keep that in mind to keep pushing forward because that is the most important part. And in your advice position, we have the Five of Cups. Let's see why this Five of Cups is here. Um, but we definitely know there has been some loss in your relationships or this could be your emotions coming up. We have the King of Pentacles here. Um, we have this King of, uh, King of Pentacles as well as the Six of Swords. Okay, so this definitely lets me know you're moving off from something. I've already said that you're rebuilding something here, Aries. You're rebuilding, moving on, really taking a step back, seeing... Uh, Everything that you have created in your life, all of the things that you have done, all the things you've experienced, you're really sitting with that energy and sort of letting it, letting that go or healing through that. Spirit is also saying grounding is very important for you during this time. So that is part of your advice is to go out and ground. The King of Pentacles is all about grounding. He's building things, okay? But in order for him to be in a place of building, he has to be level-headed. So there is a new journey that you're taking here with the Six of Swords. So you're going somewhere. There's some sort of transition. You're walking away from something or someone, leaving the past behind and let, allowing yourself to uh, move from moved into calmer waters. But it really is about you healing. And very interesting because we've pulled a lot of like knights and kings and queens, cups, page. We don't have like a lot of, um, we don't have like a lot of, we have the five and we have the six here. So it definitely makes me feel like um, you're just, again, transitioning. I can't reiterate that enough. So that for some of you is going to be a physical transition and some of you, like I said, is going to be a spiritual upgrade for you. Okay, wherever it is, you're going somewhere, you're letting go of the things that have felt heavy, um, have made your heart heavy, have made you cry, have made you grieve, where you have, you know, again, you've been feeling oppressed, you're moving past that. So you're building something and you're going to be on solid ground here, Aries, when you make it through whatever this transition is as well. And you're going to be in a place where you're going to gain material success and abundance as well. So if you have been struggling and have been worried about your finances or some something or someone taking something from you, you're going to be fine in the end. It's just a matter of going through the steps to get to this position here. I can't tell you when that's going to happen for you, but the month of July is a July uh, is a is a month of transitions and big big transitions for some of you here, Aries. We have the four of pentacles in reverse. We have the six of cups coming up for you and the empress. You guys are getting so many major arcanas. And like I said, um, you're getting a lot of the, the um, kings and queens that are coming up for you in fives and sixes. Okay, so it just lets me know that some of you are in the center of this, the middle of transition, and some of you are at the end of that as well. Your final outcome is the six of cups, I said, and the empress here, where I feel like you're going to be able to look back on things and understand that everything happened for a reason. Okay. It, it gets you, it got you to this point. It, and it's like, it, there is a whole new world that is, uh, that is unfolding for some of you as well. So this lets me know that some of you could be, you know, working through family and issues, ancestral traumas within the lineage. I, you know, I'm, I'm at that point as well. Like I said, I'm in Aries moon and I'm, I'm in a place where I'm like literally working through ancestral trauma and, and realizing that some of the things that I've experienced in my life actually had nothing to do with me. It was just something that was passed down. I mean, obviously it had something to do with me. I'm supposed to 
um, transcend that energy and move past it. But a lot of the things that we experience in life have been passed down to it. It's just been a paradigm and it became a pattern, okay? It became a habit of those that were before us and then that turned into a pattern and that turned into a cycle that just sort of been passed down generation after generation. And it was it's my duty to sort of transcend that energy because I am creating a whole new world for the lineage moving forward, okay? So I definitely feel like some of you are beginning to um, really tap into your womb energy. And for some of you could be conceiving as well. But the Empress here is letting me know you're really tapping into that energy here. Letting go of past memories and traumas and from your childhood, from your lineage, it doesn't matter. Really being gentle with yourself, enjoying the simple pleasures in life um, and, and feeling a sense of comfort within your spirit feeling a sense of comfort within your ba in your body as well. The number six is all about balance and symmetry. So you're trying to create a level of harmony. You're integrating that into your life here, Aries. And that, you, it's like you end here with the Empress. That is all about pleasure, success, building wealth, motherhood, fertility. And for some of you, um, it, like I said, it's going to be a pregnancy of conceiving for some of you. And some of you are just working through your womb traumas. You're nurturing yourself, loving yourself more, being more creative. And using the laws of nature, like I said, grounding is very important for you during this month. Using these laws of nature to sort of transcend some of the energies that you have been oppressed by. Okay, so that is your final outcome here, Aries. And thank you all so much for tuning in. If any part of this resonates with you, be sure to leave me a comment, like this video, share with family and friends. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. Enjoy the month of July and I'll see you guys soon. Many blessings and love and light, guys. Peace.